hi people welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to another video if you are new here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber or returning viewers thanks so much for coming back to view my video and if you're new here you're welcome thank you for coming so in this video i wanted to react i want to talk because of these comments you know i feel like out of all the comments i've been receiving i receive a lot of comments a lot of people that teach you what i'm seeing or what i'm thinking or just imagine that this is exactly the perspective of me like this is what she's doing while some were actually misunderstanding my intention and some understand so i feel like this is really like very very straightforward one like seriously i felt like this person actually understood me very very well based on this comment you know i normally say whenever i say i will say that one thing i'm against is you guys being biased there is no country that doesn't have negativities and positivities so you know i don't know why i think this person actually see through me very very well and it's, she said in that video so she said that video that um uh, is not if you are living in ghana or maybe you get married to a Ghanaian, or you are schooling in ghana and it doesn't mean that you should be seeing bad bad things about your country you should be bad mouthing your country if you speak to your country like the country of your own origin it will not bring any good and i don't know maybe that makes you feel better because you want them to like you because you want other people to accept you to like you so there are people that were doing bad things yes no one deny that that's what i like nigeria about one thing i like nigeria about and it's the different the only di the big difference though i can say the only difference between nigeria and ghana is that nigeria always accept the fact that the person they had they accept the read them they will tell you that yes nigeria do this they do that but we don't you know people that doesn't accept bad things we go against that person we will never cover them up but not ghanaians no <laughs> not ghanaians i've ever met we said it exactly we see it exactly like that and said i don't okay, kill we do not support these people doing this thing in ghana it's not like every Ghanaian we're law abiding you understand they will always come and be covering them up that is it that is why and how it feel like it is bears it's bears you are just trying to cover up things for things so that's what i don't like you should just be seeing it exactly the way it is don't try to look like good person and i think that is why you know some some Ghanaian, i mean some nigerian that were in ghana we're also portraying that kind of character you know what i mean what i mean is that they also wanted to try to act like who they were not they will be faking things you know acting like they are all that just to make you feel like they are the best one and there are a lot of bad people in nigeria but they are special they are different you don't have to prove that you don't have to try to look for good eye try to push that like try to I don't, I don't know how to place this. I don't, I don't think you need to just try so hard to make them see you, obviously. Like, you're just making them, trying to make them see you. You don't have to do that. If you're actually different, like you claim that you're different from other people that were doing bad things, if you claim that you are the good person, you have good intentions, you are doing good things, you are not like them, you don't have to bring it so obvious like that. One thing you have to do, actually, is like, you have to just be you. Yeah. Do you know that they say that an empty barrier are those that normally shout? People that were really good, that were actually have the good intention, that were actually nice, that were nice people that you Ghanaians were looking for. Guys, I will tell you, those people will not be shouting. You'll not be seeing them coming out and be recording themselves to the world and telling the world that they are different. Oh, I don't do this. Uh, I like Ghanaians. I love them. Reason why I like Ghanaians. 20 wise, I don't like. I don't like Nigerian just because they want to get Ghanaian attention. The only way they can get you guys' attention is by bad mouthing this country called Nigeria. Ghanaians that were doing that repent. Okay? It's no good. I don't, you know, ever since that has been happening, they have been bad mouthing for you, you have been enjoying that gist. What has it like? What is the gain? What have you gained? You don't gain anything. And it doesn't change the fact that you have problem in Ghana and you are still facing it every single day. You are facing your own. Nigerians are also facing their own. I don't deny that. You know, I don't really blame you too much. But you know, one thing I blame you about is like you are always after the bad things in Nigeria. 
you are always after it as if they send you to nigeria you say you don't care about nigeria you don't have any interest in nigeria but why do you always want to hear about the badness i think your like your mindset was put into that you want nigeria to fall so you can rise and that can never happen not in this life i don't know maybe when there is another life it can but this life that we hear this life that we have it can never happen. Nigeria will always be leading. You can't. Can't you see the difference? The gap is very, very you know, so high. Do you understand? The only thing is that if one person, even if you're talking about people, let's use people as example. One person is very successful, the other one is not. You know, the only way for that person to also go faster is by mingling with the person that was successful. You, you will try, you will learn a lot about that person. You learn a lot from that person. So you will also know you will get a lot of knowledge as well. You know what way and how you should also go about your own things. You will try to learn for people who knows better. It's not like you have to just come and be making, trying to make people that know better, that are doing better to fall so that you can rise. That's not the good intention. It's feel like, you know, it's feel like you don't really like Nigeria at all. It's not the matter of fact that eh, eh, there are bad people in Nigeria. Nigerian people are doing... No, you just do not like Nigeria. You just do not have any good intention for them. And I think, you know, we talk about this thing that in Nigeria deporting Ghanaians, Ghanaians deporting Nigeria. So if you think like you wanted to use because of Niger Ghana also deport Nigeria, you understand? If you wanted to use the fact that in Nigeria deported Ghana, Nigeria deported Ghana from Nigeria. So it's because they are big. So I think that's where you are going to, like, it's because they are big. And if you are bigger than them, you are, you are more than them. So you can do anything. You just wanted everything to be under your control. But you want want white people to be leading you, but not your own fellow Africa country. Guys, think very well. Do you see other countries' people like they were together? Like you know, like she mentioned that you see British insulting and bad mouthing what countries? You can see it. I will place the comment. You see it. So Europeans are not also like bad mouthing themselves. Don't say bad things about your country. If there is bad things, you know. It's like a matter of truth as well, right? You wanted to state the truth. But if you are comparing the country together, to bring Nigeria, you bring Ghana. If you wanted to talk about good things, positivities that Ghanaian does, you don't have to bring the negativities of Nigeria. Talk about both of them, the positivities of Nigeria too. Nigeria have a lot of positivities. You know, sometimes we are mentioning positivities in Ghana. I'm not your hater, you know? But I feel like it's constantly the same thing that you guys are always seeing about them that is positivity but in nigeria different positivities grow every single day but people do not talk about it even the owner of the country you nigerians will not talk about it because truth is bitter for you it's too heavy for you to speak out of your mouth and a lot of nigerian the way youtuber here they are experiencing a lot of hardship in ghana that they never experienced in nigeria but you know what they wouldn't talk about it because they want peace to reign, because they want to see the favor of those people they are seeing, they are seeking favor from. So they don't really, they are not really themselves because, you know, that's why I feel like you don't really have to blame them too much. They are like a puppet. They are not really themselves. They are like people that were under control, that they are just controlling them like this, you know, shaking, shaking, yeah, go like this. Do like that. Do like that's how it feels like they're just controlling you. They don't like you're the one in charge, fully in charge of yourself, controlling yourself. That's what it feel like because it's, you are the fear. You have the fear. If you're not fearing, like why wouldn't you say the truth? But you are fearing. Do you know the fear? The fear of ah, Ghana may not want to watch my video anymore. How will I hang? When there's no YouTube in the olden days, <laughs> are you not? Are people not hearing me? People that will get rich, are they not getting rich? It's destiny, the matter of destiny. It's not like because of those people. You know, if you are meant to, like, if there is something that you are meant to be gaining from, and there are some kind of people that surrounded it, if you are feeling like, oh, these people have to be there for me, and you know, you know, you know, if you don't actually move forward and be free, and let those people that were holding you back go, you will not see the brighter one that was in front of you, the brighter people, the better people that were in front of you, that were waiting, you know. Let them just carry their mat and let God lay the bed for you. 
that is it but i know i know it's like it's very hard it's hard it's very very hard because i know i talk about it in the last video i did that some people were talking about i don't know if i talk about this thing i think i talk about it like the video and the person leave ghana and when she now go to her country she's talking about nigeria so people do not watch so ghana youtuber will not tell me ah ghana youtuber ghanian nigeria she's a nigeria based in ghana so she's not telling her that hey if you're living in nigeria you don't have to be talking about Ghanaians. hey people will not watch you and those people that subscribe to you Ghanaian subscribers will not sub to your channel and those people that did not subscribe that were watching they will not come and watch you anymore like you know the viewers will not come anymore because she's not talking about ghana anymore so she has to be always just trying to talk about them making them feel better for <laughs> for Ghanaians to be watching you so i felt like it's actually look like you guys have interest in lies you have interest in people deceiving you i don't know if you actually have the mind like you also know in you that they are deceiving you but you just like it you're just interested in it you just love you love to be deceived or maybe you actually never see through that intention like it's so obvious even watching the video seeing those people that were talking the demonstration the everything felt like it is stage play to me you know you can actually see through it it's very easy to read it's so obvious to read that this is the intention of these people yeah, I know we are different peoples. We are different. All of us are different. But still, there are some things that were like something you can't really hide. It will open up it. Like it's going to open up its safe. And you will see through it. So they have to be trying to be licking their foot. Like they're licking their foot. Like you're good. You're like, like people that are working on that people, like maybe you are the slave, you know. So you have to be praising your boss. So your boss will like you. You have to be like, Telling your boss, being hypocrite, like anything your other people says, you have to just go and be delivering it to your boss. Anything your colleague says, you say between yourself, you go and deliver it to your boss. You will go and be downloading it for that boss of yours so that the boss will like you and see you as the favorite. That's how it felt like to me. I don't know for you, but I want to ask you a question. You, Nigerian, living in Ghana, and are always trying to bring out all like try all your best going all out to bring out negativities in nigeria even if there is positivity you try to bring out negativities and positivities and in ghana all the negativities in ghana you always turn into positivities you will find positivities in it what are your fears can you tell me what are you fearing exactly maybe you know i know that there are some things that you can actually read like you can actually see that okay this is what they're fearing. I know few of that, like few of things that you're fearing. But I wanted to be sure maybe there are more to it that you refuse to talk about that isn't obvious, but it's inside you. You know? So I wanted to know that's why I'm asking you that what are you fearing exactly? Or you wanted to tell me that you do not have any fear, you just do not talk your mind the way it is, the way you always open up when it comes to actually, when it actually comes to Nigeria. Nigerian people, you open up. You open up very, very well. When it comes to Ghana, you will not open up. You will not be hiding things. You are hiding things for your people. Bro, at the end of the day, those people are being nice to you, yes. But no matter what, home will still always be home. They can never be like home people to you. Those things you are seeing them doing is like temporarily. It's not permanently. But Nigerian people, as Nigerian as you are, anything they show you here, it's like the real them. Any nice you experience, nicest people, like nicest thing you experience is like permanently good, permanently things that is meant for you, you know? But for them, there yeah, is like temporarily. You can't enjoy it forever. They will take away what they give you because you are not part of them. You know? You are not part of them. And they didn't even force you. They did not force you to come and be trying to make them like you, you know. You are the one that go because you wanted to get them. You wanted to get their attention. I understand that very well. But I don't know, maybe, I, I don't want to go into it. I don't want to go into it because, you know, <laughs> don't get me started. I don't want to get started. I don't want to start. So, anyways, tell me what you think about this video in the comment section. Come 
to the end of this video and i'm going to see you on the next video bye